how to turn your shoulders correctly in your golf swing so that you can absolutely bomb your driver. Okay, so this is an area of the golf swing that causes a lot of confusion with amateur golfers, how to turn the shoulders correctly. But let me tell you right now that you absolutely must create a big, powerful shoulder turn if you want to generate maximum speed in your golf swing. It's something that all the longest hitters do to generate phenomenal speed. They create a huge turn, and that allows them to get maximum club head speed coming into the ball. It's one of the main reasons why they hit the ball so far. Get the shoulder turn wrong, however, and it's going to cause you a lot of problems. Not only are you not going to uh, generate maximum speed, but it's also going to cause you uh, inconsistency with your ball striking. It's going to make controlling your ball flight more difficult. You're going to see a lot of poor ball flights if you're not turning your shoulders in the right way. And one of the more common faults that I will see with amateur golfers when they're trying to create this big shoulder turn will go something like this. So let's get into a setup position and let's assume that we know we want to create this big shoulder turn because we want to generate maximum speed. And we'll probably see someone creating a move quite similar to this. So my left shoulder really comes across and I'm trying to create a big, huge turn here. And you may have picked that up already. As I'm doing that move, I'm creating a huge sway. So let's think about that for a moment. If we're creating this big lateral movement in the golf swing, we're going all the way over here, we're effectively shifting our swing arc or our swing circle all the way over here, which then means we've got to create a huge lateral motion coming back this way to get a nice solid strike. Now, if you time it well, you can get a solid hit with this, but there's a lot of moving parts going on there. And one thing we're going to expect with that is for ball striking to be very inconsistent. Another thing that will happen when we see this big lateral motion, so let me do that again. I'm going to go big left shoulder move coming across. We'll see that I get a very, very flat shoulder turn. Now, this flat shoulder turn is something common that we'll see with golfers who throw the club over the top. They go very flat with the shoulder turn going back, and then they almost create a steepening as they come down. So they you know, we know we've got a flat shoulder turn back, so we adjust, we go steep, and look what's happening with the club now. The club's coming across the ball, it's coming out to win, a vicious over-the-top move, which creates that out-to-win path. You're going to see a lot of slice shots. So an inefficient shoulder turn is not only going to affect your ball striking, but it's also going to affect your ball flight as well. So we need to make sure that we're going to create more of a powerful shoulder turn. And when we see the best players in the, in the world make their shoulder turn move, what we'll actually see is something like this. They're going to create a huge motion. It's going to be very centered, so we won't see a lot of lateral sway here. It will be a very centered move with both uh, the torso and the pelvis. And we'll also see that as they get into this position, their lead shoulder goes down as the trail shoulder goes up. And it's going to create much more of a vertical shoulder turn here. So rather than that flat one we saw uh, previously, it's going to be much more of a vertical shoulder plane. And in order to do that, we've got to create a little bit of side bend. So chest side bend as we go to the top of the backswing, which means your lead shoulder goes down as your trail shoulder goes up. And as we create that motion, we're going to be able to get the club in a really strong, powerful position at the top, which is going to allow for efficient ball striking, efficient club delivery, but we can generate a ton of speed with that as well. Okay, so we now know what not to do. We also know what we should be doing. How do we do it? Well, as it just so happens, I've got a very special drill for you with this one. I call this my archer's drill. So if you were to imagine that we were holding the bow and arrow, I know it's a little bit weird, but bear with me. So I'm holding the bow with my left hand, and then with my right hand, I'm going to draw back the string to load that arrow, okay? And as I create that motion, my lead shoulder goes forwards, and my trail shoulder goes backwards. 
Now, at this point, if there's any professional archers that are going to start commenting on the videos, you know, let's, uh, you know, I have no idea how you actually are supposed to do that properly. You know, let's assume for now that that is exactly how we do it as we're drawing a bow. Ignorance is bliss. Watch this, though, as I do that move. So lead shoulder goes forwards, trail shoulder goes back. This is the cool bit now. Watch this. If I tilt forwards into my golfing posture and then lift my arms to the top, look at that. We're in the perfect top of the backswing position now. So I'll do that again. I've drawn the bow back. My trail shoulder's gone back. My trail hip's gone back. I've tilted forwards into my golf posture and then lifted my arms up. And again, I'm in this really strong turned position now. So I'm in my posture, I've got the side bend I'm after. I've got the shoulder plane that I'm after, but it's a big, huge turn. It's going to allow me to generate tons of speed. And if you just practice that drill, if you get your, your head around the idea that there's no sway going on here, we're working this pivot. So we're on the tilted pelvis at setup. We're creating this pivot then that's going to get you in this really strong position. You're going to absolutely bomb the ball. So let's see if I can do it. Let's grab a ball. Let's hit one down. I'm going to get into a really nice, comfortable, athletic posture position to begin with. Then I'm going to draw the trail shoulder back as that lead shoulder goes forwards. I struck that one quite nicely. Plenty of power in there as well. So. If you want to hit the ball a long way, this is the shoulder turn that you need to be created. Not only will you hit it a long way, but you'll have maximum control over your ball flight as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please give it a like and a share. You might also want to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Uh, you'll get notifications then as to when I upload new videos. I'm also going to include a link in the description below this video uh, to my free guide to transform your golf swing. So you can register to download that free guide by clicking the link below the video. Again, hope you enjoyed it and thank you for taking the time to watch.